What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile, and we are here with our first episode in our series on Road to League Master Paul George. So this is the, going to be the first League Master that I'm going for. There's a few reasons for it. One of the big ones is my small forward in my defensive lineup is one of my weakest areas, and my defensive lineup is actually one of my best lineups, especially in regards to overall. So replacing that 88 Jimmy Butler would help me out a lot. And also, for most of the other positions, I'm either pretty well covered or just don't really use the lineup all that much. So this is definitely the one that's going to help me out the most. So right now we are on our way to that 10 league versus league collectibles, as well as the league versus league defensive masters. So the League vs. League Defensive Masters are going to come from achievements. So going over, we're going to take a look at leagues. So what we need for defensive is, to start out, we need 5 steals and 5 blocks. I've been having a hard time getting those because for some reason it's really hard to get steals and blocks in League vs. League. And sometimes it doesn't even register blocks because I know I have at least 2 blocks with my defensive lineup and it just hasn't registered them yet, which is kind of annoying. So hopefully we can get that fixed soon. I'm also working the next two that I'll probably be going for are the shooting lineup and the two-way lineup. So mainly because those are the two lineups that I use most, not necessarily because I need the cards. Uh, but if I do end up getting them, I'll probably just end up selling whatever cards I have in that position since I won't be able to sell the league versus league players that I get. But we're going to jump in and get started. So our league's been having a little bit of a rough time recently. We are, I believe we're, yeah, 15 and 6. Part of the big reason for that is that we played the number one team in the world two days in a row and basically had no chance to win since they cheat and force quit on their games. Uh, so that's another thing I'm going to be addressing in a future video, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Fortunately, this team doesn't look like they're too powerful, so I'm going to go ahead and play one of their lower-rated players. Uh, let's see, who do we want to go up against in 85? I like going up against shooting lineups because they're not too great defensively. There we go, an 84 two-way lineup should be pretty easy to go against, although they've got some pretty solid defenders in there. Who do they have in their two? A, hey, there we go. We're going to play against a two-way lineup because they don't have really any good defenders in there, so we're going to start out with our defensive lineup looking really nice with that new Carl Anthony Towns and Hero of the Month James Harden cards. Hopefully we'll be able to get a decent amount of steals. All right, I definitely timed that perfectly to win the jump ball, so that's okay because we're just trying to get steals right now, and apparently we can't get steals. That was just me pressing the wrong button. Um, all right, no idea how that went in. That was, honestly, that was garbage. Um... We're just going to run down, throw up a three with James Harden. That should be in. Easy money right there. And not really too concerned with scoring points right now. Really just trying to get steals and blocks. And not looking great so far. Um, Kemba really doesn't have great. There we go. There's one steal. So that's one of the steals that we needed. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I missed that. I, again, it doesn't really matter that much since we aren't going. And they get an easy dunk. All right. So uh, not off to a great start. We are two of our five steals on the way to our achievement that we need and dropping another three right there. Very, very easy with this new James Harden card. He's another one of my favorites. Oh, get the steal. Yes, there we go. Actually, they might not even count that as a steal. You know what? We're just going to run to the corner and pull up. That should be money. There we go. This man does not miss. And it looks like we're going to win this quarter easily. So the only question is, are we going to be able to get the steals that we need? Come on, take it. Mm, come on, take the ball from him. I believe we have two steals. We're, we're going to have to go and check afterwards as we get dunked on again. Uh, checking to see if they're actually registering the steals that we're getting. If not, it's probably going to be another thing that goes into my video on things that they need to change for the game. As we knock down yet another three, I don't think that he's missed yet. Um, come on, James. This is the only downside to this James Harden card is he's not great at stealing. Um, and this is getting really annoying. Also, the fact that we can't get any blocks because they fade away on every jump shot. And we're going to pull up with Jimmy Butler right there. That should be money. <laughs> we're absolutely destroying them offensively. But we cannot get the stats that we need right now. Um, 
I did not mean to switch right there. Come on, get a steal. There. Oh, I hate it whenever the center goes and grabs the ball after I steal it. That's It does that every time, and I don't understand why. And for some reason, it is not letting me take this ball. And once again, that annoying uh, body up so that I can't get the block, even though I have some really good defenders in this lineup. And we're going to pull up. Oh, our first missed shot of the game. We still won by seven. So helping our league out, but we can't get the steals and the blocks that we need, partially just because of the style that the gameplay has. So defensive looks like it might take a little while for us to get. So if we're not getting those achievements, we might end up going for a different set first. Uh, that's not even what I meant to do. Uh, so taking a look at leagues, it only registered one of the steals that we got, which is kind of annoying. We are going to go back, hopefully do better with the stats that we need for our two-way and shooting lineups. Let's see, an 80, another 84 two-way lineup. That looks pretty easy to go against, not too tough defensively. And we're going to go with our two-way lineup with our new Tracy McGrady card right here. The only downside of that Tracy McGrady card is he basically has the same ability as James Harden, although James Harden can do it from anywhere on the court. Um, and I think... Actually, now that I think about it, I think Tracy McGrady's activates a little bit earlier than Harden's. So I might actually get to use two buzzer beater, and I lose the jump ball again. Two buzzer beater type abilities early on in the game, and that should have been a steal. Come on, that's got to be a miss. Though. And a little bit of lag right there, not sure what's going on. And we're going to pull up with McGrady. What? Are you kidding me? Andrew Wiggins, mmm, mmm, that makes me angry. All right, come on, get a steal. Come on. Oh my goodness. That that bugs the crap out of me. And then they get an easy dunk because nobody's playing defense. Um, honestly, that just shouldn't happen. They shouldn't be getting... And we miss a wide open... Oh my gosh. How did he miss that? And then we don't get an assist for it. Um, Alright, that's a little bit annoying. We might just start going for the alley-oops right now. Come on, get a steal, James. Come on, get the steal. And for some reason, I don't think it counts alley-oops as assists either which is also really annoying, and they missed that jump shot. We're going to throw it down. Let's see. Somebody run to the basket so we can throw an alley-oop. Oh, yes. There we go. That's what we needed. All right. Nice little alley-oop. I would say to start off, but we're almost halfway through the quarter, so it's not helping us as much as I thought it was. All right. Let's get this steal. Come on. Take the ball. Mm, man, he's wide open. Fortunately, he doesn't take the shot. Oh, now we can get blocks now that we actually don't need them. <laughs> okay, Sean Kemp, go to the basket. There we go. Oh, my gosh. We're going to pass it back out and go for the LUP again. And what was that pass? Oh, my gosh, that was terrible. I don't – I'm really confused on what just happened because that was one of the worst passes I've ever seen. Uh, come on, get the steal right here so we can get two more baskets in before the end of the game. Why can't I get steals? I don't understand why it's so hard to get. We're, it's a tie game right now. Are you kidding me? Um, let's see. Is McGrady's buzzer beater. How is that a steal? Please tell me how. Why don't you just. Mm. All right. This is one of the most frustrating league versus league quarters I've played. Fortunately, he did miss. Oh, all right. Our buzzer beater is activated. So McGrady, go so we can get the assist. All right. And we're not going to get the assist. All right, we're just going to take the easy little layup. That's disappointing. Lots of wasted points right there. Fortunately, we do get that assist to go towards our achievements. Uh, but that was that was a relatively frustrating quarter, especially if he ends up hitting this buzzer beater. He's got to miss that. Yeah, okay. So we won the quarter. Terrible on points, but we're going to win this tournament easily, so I'm not too worried about it. Just a little bit annoyed that we're not getting the stats that we need for those achievements. So hopefully we'll do a little bit better in, with our shooting lineup. Honestly, on this one, I'm probably just going to go for that points achievement because it's more fun anyways. Uh, so let's see. What's a low-rated lineup? Ooh, an 84 shooting lineup. We like to see that. Let's see. Oh, it's just because he's got Porzingis in there. All right, not going to go against that one. This looks like a relatively weak defensive lineup. Not super weak because Clay's a pretty good defender, although I'm not sure how good his defensive rating is. For some reason, the 84 Clay and the 91 Clay have the same defensive rating, but hopefully we'll be able to drop quite a few points because this is an absolutely monstrous three-point shooting lineup. 
Really, I need to grab a throwback Joe Johnson relatively soon and just finish off the absolute monsters. What? Are you kidding me? Clay Thompson is wide open and misses a three-pointer. Mmm. Honestly, league versus league is... And then... Okay, all right. League versus league is by far the most frustrating thing in this game for me. Plus 10, please make it. Thank you. Um, for some reason, league versus league gameplay is 100% different than really any other gameplay. Like season gameplay, head-to-head -head gameplay, live event gameplay, <laughs> and Dwight Howard makes a jump shot. Okay, all right, sure. And then, come on, make that. There we go. All right, now we're hitting our shots, but for some reason... They have made League vs. League gameplay five times as hard as any other gameplay in the game. And it just annoys me to death. And he knocks down another shot. They've scored seven points in the first 40 seconds. Oh my gosh, I just don't understand this. Fortunately, we're knocking down our shots now. So we're still going to get those points that we need for the achievement. But man, is this... Mm. And for some reason, we still can't get a steal if he makes that. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Why can't he miss? Oh my gosh, and then we miss ours, are you serious? Fortunately, Kevin Love gets the rebound, but this is just insane. I don't understand it at all. Um, come on, and that was just bad defense, but for some reason we can't get a steal. There, Clay Thompson can't miss, and we're missing our shots, so... It is not looking great right now, at least in regard to point differential. That's got to be a miss. Finally, they missed a shot. We're going to throw it up to Allen Iverson and let him pull up from three. That should be a make. Are you serious? Plus 10. He's wide open. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes league versus league just makes me want to quit this game because it doesn't make any kind of sense to me. We're going to run down with Clay. Please make your shot. Please make it. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> why can't he make shots? I, I'm really confused. If you guys know why I'm missing these shots, please tell me. Because I don't I don't know what it is. Fortunately, we will get the ball back one more time. So we'll have a chance to make one more shot. Um, all right. We're going to run all the way down. Pull up. Come on. Make it, Alan. And <laughs> shocker, he misses that one too. All right. So um, for some reason... EA hates League versus League. Hopefully, we'll get that fixed sometime relatively soon in the future. But that's going to be about, that, about it for this episode of Road to Defensive Master Paul George. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys next time.